My next guest is going to be taking on Charles Jourdain at UFC Fight Night on September 4th. It is Lerone Murphy joining me here on the program for the very first time. Lerone, how's it going? Oh, good, man. Not long finished training, just chilling out. Yeah, I bet you're inching to, to, to get back in there. Of course, you were supposed to fight this Saturday. I know they moved the card around a couple times. It looked like you were going to fight in London. Now it's in Vegas. Uh, how, how difficult has that been to sort of adjust everything? I'm in the gym every day, all day, every day anyway. So I think we've been, we knew about the fight from May, May 12th or something like that. So it's been a long camp, but it's just it's just more time for us to get better and work on more uh, more things and stuff. So it is what it is. Obviously, I wanted to fight in the UK in front of the home fans, but um, as long as we get to fight, I'm all good with it. First time fighting in Vegas. How excited are you? I know for some fighters, that's a really big milestone for them. I am, but I prefer. I would have preferred the UK to have the to UK honest, crowd. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. I know yeah. that kind of sucks, right? So I know it's it's going to be in the apex in it. I think so. It's just like it's it's not it's not real Vegas. So, but I'm excited anyway. So an exciting fight. So that, that, that it's all good, man. It's all good. It must be kind of cool though. There's a lot of UK fighters on the card. You got Darren Till, and you know. So it's, at least it's you'll have some uh, you know some fellow uh, UK fighters on the card, right? Yeah, it'd be sick. It's it's a, it's lining up, shaping up to be a sick card as well, man. Some big fights on there, so it'd be good to get on get on the, uh, um, a card with Darren Till as well. He'll bring a lot of eyes um, to the card and stuff. Get some new fans and whatnot. Remember when the UFC used to name cards? They should just name this one UK versus the World. I think that would sell more tickets. What do you think? Yeah, that's what it is. That's technically that's what it is, isn't it? Obviously, it's meant to be in the UK, so there's a lot of UK um, UK fighters on there, but. It's going to be a bit different from Abu Dhabi, what, what I'm used to. I've fought three times in Abu Dhabi now, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Nice to switch things up. And a great opponent here in Charles Jordan, someone I've known quite well uh, fighting for TKO here in Canada. What do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him in this fight? I just know he's a, he's a game kid, man. He's, he comes to fight every every fight, and every fight he's had, he's been a, it's been a close fight, even if he's lost lost decision, so... I know, I know what I'm up against. I know it's going to be a, t- I know it's going to be a tough fight. It's going to be there till the end. So, but I'm, I'm ready for that, man. I, I feel like, I feel like I should already be in the top 15. I'm that level, and um, I've just got to go out there and prove it, man. It's going to be a violent fight. You're a little surprised by the matchmaking, only because you guys, I would think, are sort of considered, you know, prospects, up and comers in the division. Mm-hmm. It kind of looks like they're trying to figure out who the better prospect is. Do you like that, or would you rather have fought sort of a veteran, a bit of a, a bit more of a name? I just I just fought a veter- veteran, as you say. Um, I'm not really bothered about. It. I'm just I'm just on the on this ladder, and I'm just climbing the ladder. Whoever whoever they give me, they give me. It's simple, and it's up to me and Charles to to prove who's the better fighter. It's, yeah. it's as simple as that. It don't don't really matter who you get. Everybody's good in 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 our division. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, training camp it sounds like it's going well. Who have you mainly had a chance to work with as far as training partners? I've worked with I've worked with some of the best, some of the best, some of the best in the UK. So I've mixed it up, man. We've got we've got some good good fighters in similar to um Jordan's style. We're just 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 feeling out. Obviously a fight's a fight. You can you can never replicate a fight. But I feel like we've we've got pretty close to um his style and whatnot and we'll see what happens on the night though, innit? Give me two names of some guys you're training with, just to give some shine here to some other people in this interview. You probably won't even know who the guys. That That's cool. I like I like honest. the up and comers, the prospects, all that stuff. I love hearing about it. I've done a lot. I've done a lot with. Um, done a lot of spy with my, uh, one of my one of my boys, Jordan Barton. He's just signed for Bellator six and one. Um, similar similar style to Jordan. Precious precious forward. Um, big left kick. Whatnot. Whatnot. Um, yeah. Okay. There you go. See, I like hearing those names because guess what? Next Bellator card, I'll be keeping an eye out. You know, you know that's how it goes, and I'm sure the viewers yeah. are as well too. Uh, weight cut? Does that happen more? Because this because you're going to be traveling. I know Abu Dhabi is not a short flight either, but um, do you cut more weight in the UK and then head over, or do you worry more about that during fight week? Uh, I'm kind of low now. I, oh, I drop, okay. I drop the weight quite easily, so I'm not really worried about the weight. I, 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 I'm professional in it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave too much weight if I'm traveling anyway. So when when I get over there, everything will be good. I always make weight. Everything will be good. Who's gonna be making the trip with you as far as your cornerman? 
Uh, so usually I have Kane Musa and Luke Barnett in my corner, um, and obviously Carl Prince, the, the head coach. But um, I'm bringing I'm bringing a training partner over, which is um, Andrew Lofthouse. I'm bringing Aaron Wilkinson, ex UFC, and Carl Prince, the coach. How's this fight playing out on September fourth? It's gonna be violence. It's gonna be violence straight up, like. I feel like we're very similar in styles. Um, so I feel like we're just going to throw down in it and whoever connects and whoever lands first and whoever backs down first is the winner. It's, I know I'm not backing down anyway. I'm going to leave every, everything in there, everything in there and, um, to get the win. So we'll see how it plays out, man. He's good though. I respect him. He's, he's a good fighter in it. I, I, never t- I won't talk bad about him. I know he's a good fighter and no, no one can't say he's not so... I'm excited to get in there with him and, 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 and have this scrap. Does a win, especially a finish here, is that the fight that gets you in the rankings and gets you sort of, you know, get you some notoriety here? Because you've been racking up some really good wins as of late. Yeah, definitely. Everybody knows this is, we're probably the, the best two featherweights outside of the top 15 right now. Um, so, yeah, a win, a big win, a, a, a clean win will get me in the top 15. I finish definitely gets me in the top 15, I'd say anyway. So um, I'll be definitely be calling for that af- after the fight anyway. And uh, top of your division, Volkanovski Ortega, have you been watching The Ultimate Fighter or paying attention to what's going on? It seems like there's some real heat between the coaches, which I think is going to make for a better fight. I've not watched it, to be honest. You know, I think I've watched, I think I watched the first, the first episode or something. I've not really been keeping up. I mean, just, I just literally, as soon as I, tra- I train, 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 might watch a bit of tape, watch, watch my training back. Then from then until my session later on, I'm switching off from MMA. I'm watching a film, just keep, because it, it just You're drains you out. the game, like, right? Just, yeah. Yeah, it drains you out. It drains you out, especially when you're doing two, three sessions a day. And like, you don't, you don't want to see no more fighting. And uh, got to ask as well, um, Leon Edwards, you know, he's a UK fighter. What do you think about the treatment he's getting? 10 fight and beaten streak, still can't get a title shot. Uh, it's, it's mad, but it's just like, I feel like they've given the blueprint to the to this, like, obviously, come on, no one, no one can't say he doesn't deserve a shot. He should have got his shot a million times, but... It's, it, he's gonna have to. He can't just sit about now. I feel like he should have. He should just take the Masvidal fight. I feel like it's a, not an easy fight, but I feel like he takes that fight quite. He takes that fight comfortably, and I feel like that's a fight for him to take now to boost his, boost his get um, his name and stuff. It's like I don't know. It's like they don't want him to be champion or something. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on there. I think at the very least he's got to be on the same card as Usman, like just as a backup or something, or mm. have him fight. Mm. You know, there's a lot of options. Burns, Luke. I know he beat Luke, mm. but still Luke looked great last weekend, right? So I think there's. A few options for him in terms of what he can do but uh yeah i just think it's interesting because the diaz fight was supposed to help him that was sort of a not a gimme fight but a fight i think he you know he did end yeah. up winning but it backfired in the sense that he got rocked in the fifth and it's just unfortunate that everyone exactly. sort of yeah yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You know? it was I feel, I feel like they give him that fight to say here go go prove to us you want this title get a finish or a big performance or whatever and then and then not just getting caught in the last last minute or so just kind of took 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 his shine away because he did fight a good fight. He did fight a good a perfect fight um up, up until that point. So it's, okay. it's a bit unlucky, man. And you just gave me a great interview, Lerone. Really appreciate it, man. I know you're super busy. Uh, anyone you want to yeah. thank? Any sponsors? Any social media? I'll give you the last word. Yeah, man. I just want to thank my gym. Firstly, Manchester top team. All the coaches down there been putting in the work. Um, I've had a great camp. All the sponsors. Um, yeah. Thank you, everybody.